Hello friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside. I am Jenny and I have a very exciting video for you folks today. We got the new 2022 annual introductions from Proven Winners. Big, huge thank you to Paul, the whole team at Pleasant View, the Huntington family. Thank you so much for sending us these new introductions. They came just this afternoon. It is Thursday afternoon. They came. We've opened the boxes, but we have not pulled anything out yet. So I thought this would be a fantastic video to do because I know that you're just as excited as I am to know what is coming to us next year. Now, if you remember what we will do with these once the weather fully cooperates because even this morning and tonight we're calling for some more freezes even though we're past our last frost date we will plant these in our trial gardens at the nursery so you sweet folks who come and see us um, within the next couple of weeks throughout the summer into the fall you will get to actually see these plants in the garden to see how they are performing. So this is gonna be a completely unedited video. We're just gonna go straight through. I am gonna pull them out so that you can see them and we'll give just a brief overview of these plants. Now, I believe that you should be able to go to provenwinners.com and look these plants up because I believe they have them on the website. Don't quote me on that looked yet but normally they will go ahead and put the information out there since we have them and so that way you can look for some more information I'll give you the basics but if you need some more info feel free to visit provenwinners.com now these beauties came to us um, one we get a packet so this is a great little informational packet from Pleasant View and it gives me all of the um, 2020 20, 22 um, information. So we're gonna, gonna give this to Jerry right quick. You can hold on to that. But it really kind of goes through and tells us what the plants are um, and just some brief information on them. So I have this as a reference, but honestly, I'm probably just gonna use the tags um, for today. Now, just so you can see how they are packaged when they arrive to us. Um, again, I have not taken any of these out. They are simply in the box in their dividers with the paper wrapper around them. So we're just gonna start and start pulling plants out and see how they do. So first, this is always so exciting. It's like, you know, Christmas. So here we have a new Super Bell, Double Twilight. So of course, first I will show you the tag. Now remember, Super Bells, love the sun they love to be in containers they love to be in window boxes just not in the ground we're going to do our best here um, now they just they did just arrive from new hampshire so um you know if they're a little tender that's all right but this is gorgeous so this is going to be full to part sun six to 12 inches tall of course it's going to be that trailing everything that we love about super bells it is a beautiful um, light purple with a dark center absolutely gorgeous um, we will see how this does now this super bells do great in containers so when i put it in the trial garden it will not be directly in the ground it will be in a pot within that area so as a little side note. And I'm gonna try to put these on the ground. Um, we've had some crazy wind the last couple of days. Um, so hopefully everybody will cooperate and not have too much wind. Um, so put this guy down. All right, now this is a new one for me. Well, this is fun. This is Ladybird Sun Glow do not know how to pronounce the actual species of that plant variety of that plant but i do know that it is a gorgeous yellow has fern like texture on it again we're going to do our best here with the camera making sure they do well so this will be for full sun it's only going to be four to eight inches tall and you can tell it's going to be a trailing variety of plants, um, containers and landscapes. So this is excellent. Um, it's just gonna be um, an annual for us, unless you're in zones eight through 10, then it could be a perennial, 
but beautiful. Oh my goodness, such a beautiful color of yellow, nice bright pop. Um, so fun. And of course, remember with all of these, we will keep you updated as the season goes on all the way through summer into fall. I do believe oh, we have a coleus. If you've been around me for more than two minutes, you do know how much I love a coleus. So this is part of the Color Blaze series, newly noir, is that right? I don't know, we'll go with it. But obviously it is a gorgeous, kind of a wine, deep purple chocolate color. Um, and again, remember these coleuses are so tough and so hardy. Um, it doesn't matter, even if it got snapped off, like there's a little, a little branch that got snapped off, it's fine. That'll actually help the plant be more compact. So again, with the coleus containers or the landscapes, and this is gonna be a big one, 24 to 40 inches tall. So it is definitely a nice big plant. Oh, you're gonna be excited about this one because I'm excited about this one. So if you love Sun Credible, raise your hand. Sun Credible Sunflower. They have a new sunflower coming into the line of plants. So I want you to look at this. This is Sun Credible Saturn. Look at that beautiful. It is a bicolor. It's going to be fantastic and glorious. Oh my goodness. So Sun Credible just unto itself is a fantastic um, sunflower. It blooms continuously from summer all the way through. Now this one is only gonna be 24 to 36 inches tall. So it's gonna be a little bit on the shorter side. Now, remember, these plants came from New Hampshire to North Carolina. Again, they went not through UPS gymnastics, they went through FedEx gymnastics. But I wanna show you something, okay? In shipping, this got snapped. So we have damage, right? But guess what? Again, it is no big deal because we're gonna take this off, we're gonna to toss it, it's fine. This will actually, in the long run, benefit the plant because it makes it less, um, more straight up and nice and tight and compact. So actually probably what I will do is um, this one I will cut back too because it's a little long and I do think it was snapped. Again, I'm not freaked out about that. It's perfectly fine. Um, the plant is tough. This is why they're proven winners because they can handle a little beat up and a little bit of abuse and they will be fine. So even though two pieces snapped, we're good. All right, moving on. In total, they sent us, what was it, 32, 16 and 16? Um, so we have lots. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, ooh, a new Angelona. So this is Angel Face Cascade Snow. So we already have like some of the Cascade series. We love the Angelona because they are a beautiful, sun loving annual um this one again it's kind of hard to tell because it's been cramped up into in the box but the cascading series so there's a cascade white there's a cascade pink they have that great kind of weeping arching effect so this one again is full sun 8 to 14 inches tall um, they do great in both containers and landscape so that snow is just a beautiful pure white bloom this will be a really fun one to do. We love the Angelonas. They are great in our Southern climate. Really, really tough. We're gonna grab that. Here comes, this. Here comes the wind. Now, another one that you're gonna be excited about, that I'm excited about. I just figure if I'm excited, you're gonna be excited because I think you get excited about the same things. There is a new basil. So this is Pesto Besto. Ruby winners, you do an amazing job on your names. They're so much fun. Look at that. Now, again, maybe it's a little wear and tear. It'll be fine. It'll be great. So again, nice, beautiful mm, summer smell. This is gonna be 18 to 30 inches tall. Again, remember basil likes the full sun. 
You can use it for foliage. You can use it to cook with. Again, the more you pinch it, the more compact it is, and it does great. So a new addition to the Proven Harvest line with this basil. Another, while we're on the Proven Harvest line, there is another new addition. Again, this has an absolutely fantastic name. So basically these are chives, but look at it. <laughs> allium. So remember onions are called alliums. They're in that allium family. So they did a play on words. So it's allium. Um, super cute. Um, just that great chives that we know and love, right? You can use them for all sorts of things. This is gonna be 10 to 16 inches tall, full sun, it will bloom in the summer because chives are in that, obviously, the onion family. They'll do those great little purple blooms on it. Um, you can eat with it. Again, containers or landscapes. Fun little chive. Love that. Let's see. What else do we have in here? Ooh. This is fun. Nice and tight and compact. Artist Pearl, this is an Adjuratum. Now, full disclosure, don't have much experience growing these, so this will be um, a really fun experiment for us to see how they do, but look at that. Look at that nice tight foliage. It already has buds on it. This is going to be full to part sun, eight to 12 inches tall. A beautiful like little pincushion bloom on it, that pure white. Again, containers landscape. But this is, this is what's so great about them sending us, sending us these trials is that we get to grow them in our environment. So obviously we're North Carolina, we're a zone 7B. We have extremely hot and humid summers. Our nights here are very hot and humid. Some of these plants are gonna thrive and do amazing. Some of them are probably gonna be like, meh. But this way we get to know how do they behave in the South. And we're gonna have some great winters and then we're gonna have some that maybe we're not quite as excited about, but that's all right, right? We talk about it all the time. There's not a bad plant, but there could be bad plant placement. So all plants do not grow perfectly in all environments. All right, here we have a new, another new coleus, Color Blaze <laughs> El Brito. Look at that, fantastic. And there's a car going down to the nursery at 6.20 at night. What do we say here in the South? Bless their heart. All right. So it does have gorgeous foliage on it. Immediately, I, I think of um, Wicked Witch, but it's a little different, of course. Now remember, um, this has more white in it. The more sun, it looks like they will get some yellow and some reds to it. Um, the coleus. They are sun to shade. I have noticed if they get full sun, they tend to have one of this color. And if there's shade, then they have kind of a different set of colors. Um, again, we had just a little bit of some breakage on it. Again, it's not that big of a deal. The wind's blowing. Um, so they will be fine. So love, love, love the coleus. Here we go. Oh goodness, we've got things blowing in the wind. Hopefully the microphone's not too windy. Now, again, if you've been around Creekside for any amount of time, you know how much we love the Blue My Mind of Ovulus. So hold on to your seats, folks. We have a brand new, improved Blue My Mind of Ovulus. Absolutely fantastic. Now, I did know about this because it's Blew My Mind XL, so like extra large. So this is gonna be great for more of a landscape presence. It's gonna be a little bit taller, four to eight inches. It is still that great landscape presence that is drought tolerant, does great in our hot Southern climate. It just does wonderful. So this is gonna be a little bit of like the Blew My Mind on steroids. So a little bit of a bigger bloom. Let's see, can you see that? Is it nice and clear? Just beautiful. So 
if you're in, if you have a hot sunny area that maybe doesn't get a lot of water, you need something that can handle the drought, then this would be definitely one that you want to, um, to look at, to get. It is a fantastic plant. I cannot wait to see how this compares to the original blew my mind should be i know it's going to be fantastic so there we go next we have oh goodness i'm not even going to try to pronounce this name so maybe all you sweet folks who know your latin safari sky We'll just stick with that. Full to part sun, but you can look at the name on that sweet thing. Fantastic. I can already tell what's it gonna be. It's gonna be more of like a trailing plant. But look at this beautiful, delicate bloom. Can you see that? Really pretty. Six to 12 inches tall full to part sun so it needs at least that four to five hours of sun it's mounded containers landscapes it's going to be um, an annual except for those really hot climates but it is already covered in lots of little buds so those will all open up a really nice delicate um, really fun different kind of texture on it so this is always fun this would be great for your containers um, that can be your Spiller in your containers. Here we have whew, let's see. Here we go. Augusta lavender. Look at that. There we go. Clearly, she's going to be an upright plant, um, 12 to 24 inches tall. A beautiful obviously there's no blooms on it yet it does have some buds really nice foliage on it you can see that full Sun and this is going to be um, annuals it's unless you're in a zone 9 of course it goes containers and landscapes you don't have to deadhead and that's the thing about with the proven winners is that we love is that there's no deadheading required on their annuals um, you don't have to go and pick you can if you want to it certainly won't hurt the plant but you don't have to now this sweet thing is covered in blooms already this is oh the laguna sky blue oh man yeah this is what we have is this what we have this year yeah right they did send us some plants that we already have that are that are not introductions although it says new introduction for 2022 so i'm not sure so don't know what I, anyway but look at those beautiful blue blooms can you see that just absolutely gorgeous full to part sun um just i mean like in the horticultural world it kind of drives me crazy because they'll say things are blue and they're really purple but look at that i mean this is blue this is for my southern folks this is carolina blue like this is a true blue absolutely beautiful six to twelve inches tall more mounded again containers landscapes so extremely versatile very very versatile if you put it in the landscape since it's short you want to put it in the front then we have a new lantana so they have see a little dirt guess what dirt don't hurt it's all right that's why we have tough plants it's all good so here we go luscious citron it is going to be an absolutely gorgeous yellow it has already got buds all over it just a beautiful plant this will be a beautiful solid yellow this is going to have a little height to it 20 to 30 inches tall now remember lantana full sun like it just drinks and drinks and drinks the sun so this is a great one obviously containers landscapes and it's going to have more of a mounded effect lantanas typically do by nature they are mounders um, again this is going to be gorgeous with lantanas 
if you, if it's, you feel like it's going too upright and you need it to mount, you can always pinch them back a little bit. So with annuals, they are normally very, very forgiving and they respond really well to be pruned. So, but this is, oh my gosh, this is a gorgeous plant. So this will be really fun. Um, I love mixing those complementary colors together, the yellows and the blues. This looks like, I don't know what this is. I thought verbena, but it's not. Safari Dawn, again, have no clue on how to pronounce that. I will let you folks who are major in pronunciation, you can tell me how to do that. But it has, that's why I said it looks like to me at first, it looked like a, lan uh, not a lantana, but a verbena. Obviously a nice wide trailing effect. There is one little bloom on it. Let's see if we can get it to cooperate. It's getting cold, so my fingers are not working very well. Okay, it's a tiny little bloom. Can you see that? I don't know, Jerry's trying to tell me if it's, yes, it's nice and clear. So can you imagine this plant covered in that? It would be gorgeous. Only six to 12 inches tall, full to part sun, mounded containers and landscapes. Um, of course, and with all of your annuals, you want to fertilize them on a regular basis because remember, food equals flowers. So you really want to feed these babies so that they can perform at their best. Now, here we have ladybird lemonade now lemonade had a little bit of trouble in shipping i mean it is bound to happen but let me show you the tag there we go perfect now again she had to go through some fedex gymnastics so if you get a plant and you know if you do mail order and you get plants like this, it's okay. These are really tough plants. Um, we rarely, whenever we get these new introductions, a couple of times we'll have somebody that just got beat up in shipping. So what you can do is just set it up right um, and get it, you know, get it the way it should be because as long as they have a nice root system, then the plant should be fine. There shouldn't be any problem with that. So remember, we're into gardening. We're into taking care of plants. So else seem to be fine all right so lady ladybird lemonade is a, looks like it's going to be a beautiful soft yellow um, four to eight inches tall it is also known as a texas primrose um, so there you go so if it's a texas primrose then i'm going to assume that it's going to be a heat loving fantastic do a great job um, in the heat in the sun nice fine fern like foliage so the texture on this is going to be really fun to pair it with something um, you know because it's all about textures when you're planting and making mixed containers that box is done we're halfway down we got 16 more to go so let's go through these oh and there's i see flowers all right let's go for a big beautiful bang So here we have Laguna Cloud White. Give her a little shaky shaky. There we go. Got it. Nice and clear. Look at that beautiful white flower. Very delicate. It kind of reminds me of a smaller Broalia. Broalia is for shade. This is for full to part sun, six to 12 inches, but it's gonna be in that same family as the blue sky can you imagine okay all my unc people here's your plant combination <laughs> i mean there you go can you imagine doing these like in a hanging basket or a container oh dear heavens i know i'm sorry i just get so excited about these oh gorgeous man loving this these are like the possibilities are positively endless um let's see purple who loves purple we're gonna go into the purple land next Ooh. all right here we go all my here we go all right violet night so if you're familiar with white night 
Snow Princess, Blushing Princess. Here we have a beautiful purple to offer you. So there we go. Can you see that? So full to part sun. It is a lobularia. It is going to be a beautiful trailing plant. They naturally do this. Um, I can't tell if it's cold. Um, a lot of times they will um, just have that beautiful, maybe a little bit of a scent to them. Nice big fat um, leaves on them with that gorgeous purple. So there we go, Violet Night. I'm gonna guess and say this is a petunia. <laughs> it is, because I can tell it's a petunia because it has the big fat leaves on it. Now, it's not blooming, but, and it's losing a, like a couple of leaves got snapped off. It's fine. Here we go. Super Tunia Priscilla. So Priscilla is going to be a double petunia that is a beautiful purple. Um, so again, we know it's a petunia because it's got those nice big fat leaves. So petunias will typically have fatter leaves, bigger leaves than your super bells. Um, of course, super tunias love the sun. They can do um, both containers and landscapes. This is going to be a short one. So it's not going to be a tall one like the Vista series. It's going to be a beautiful double oh, purple. That's going to be exquisite. Continuing with the purple theme, maybe another petunia. get so excited about these things. Speaking of Vista series, we have a new member of the Supertunia Vista family. Let me introduce you to Jazzberry. Remember that the Vista petunias are the most vigorous petunias that, that Proven Winners makes. They're great for landscapes, large containers. So right now, all I've got for you is a bud that if that gives you kind of any indication of the color, then there you go. 12 to 24 inches tall. Um, it says, um, of course, you know, containers, landscapes, all the things that we know and love about those Vista petunias. Beautiful, I just can't wait to see this mixed in. Oh, love the Vistas, they're fantastic. So your Vistas are like your bubble gums and your snowdrift and your silverberries, paradise and fuchsia. Next, I mean, we're on a petunia roll here, people. It's gonna be hard for me to like put these in the ground because I'm gonna wanna, um, you know, landscape with them. So, Paul, Andy, you know, send me a truckload. <laughs> send me a truckload, okay, super tunia. Now this is not, a, this is a new one, Royal Magenta. We don't have a Royal Magenta. It doesn't have the new for 2022, but I'm pretty sure we don't have Royal Magenta in the family. All right. Can you see it? Is she not glorious? Oh my goodness, y'all. Dear heavens to Betsy, I do love her. Oh, okay, petunias, everything we know and love. Landscapes, full sun. Um, prune them back, feed, feed, feed them, the whole nine yards. Now, this one is not new, and I know it's not new because it's currently grown in the greenhouse right now and it's for sale, um, but it is a great plant. Very underused, I believe. So I'm gonna be using this in a lot of my containers and recipes this year. So this is part of their Proven Accents line. Proven Accents truly are, they're not flowers, but they accent all of your containers, so forth and so on. This is the white licorice. Um, there's your tag. But look at this. If you're familiar with lamb's ear, then this reminds me of that on a smaller scale as far as the leaves. Extremely soft, fuzzy, has that beautiful like green silver look to it. It is going to be a mounding trailer. And as if I remember correctly, on this, the vigor scale, so they'll re rate one is the less vigorous, four is the most vigorous. 
This is a number four. So like the Vistas would be also a number four. So this is gonna be great in mixed containers um, with some of those most vigorous plants, extremely. Okay, fast forward just a minute. Sorry about that. The, <laughs> at 30 minutes, the camera cuts off and so it cut me off. Love that helichrysum, beautiful. Now, this plant is not new, but it is extremely popular for all the right reasons. It is a fantastic coleus. So this is chocolate drop which is really fun because it is not a tall, upright, mounded coleus. It is a trailing coleus. Now, the color on this is really, really nice. A lot of green with that dark center. Um, this is a fantastic plant. Again, we can't keep this in stock either online or here at the nursery. Um, in fact, I was wanting to use it in a container and Jerry was like, no, we're pretty limited on that. But it's a really beautiful plant. The more sun that we have found, it gets more of that dark color in it. So chocolate drop is um, definitely proven to be a fantastic plant. Um, another one that is not new to the series that they sent us, which I mean, do we ever turn down great new plants or great free plants? No, we don't. Um, Prince Tut. So Prince Tut is again part of that Proven Accents line because it is a grass. So there we go. Prince Tut is a wonderful as a um, thriller in a big pot. It does great in the landscape. You cannot overwater this thing too much. And in fact, it can be like a bog plant. So you can just give it water, water, water. Again, because it is so tall, it had a little bit of damage where it got snapped in shipping. Again, not a big deal. You can just take that off, cut it off. Um, the plant will continue to produce, but as a type of papyrus grass. So it does these really fun, I mean, very Egyptian-like reminiscent to me. Um, this is one we've grown for years. It is a absolutely fantastic plant. Full to part sun, 30 inches, 30 to 48 inches tall, and it gets nice and big. The more water you give it, the bigger it goes. So if you can put it in the landscape, I would do it. If you're gonna put it in a pot, make sure it's a nice large pot. Now, here is Verbena. Again, not a new one, but it is an oldie but goodie. Love this plant. This is Superbena Whiteout. Um, here we go. Again, a very nice, high vigor plant that does those beautiful, and this is not a full bloom. So I grew this last year, both in the containers, window boxes, and the landscape but the blooms on them are just massive, massive pure white blooms. Of course, their super venas are gonna be a nice trailing. So you can put them, like I said, I had it in the ground, makes a gorgeous ground cover. You can put it in any kind of container and it will be your spiller. Um, full sun, loves that hot, hot sun and just does great. If it gets too long, you can trim it back, give it food, give it fertilizer, and it will give you months and months and months of color. Let's see. We have whoo, another petunia. Now I don't I don't know if this is new. I know that we haven't grown it. Lovey dovey? Yeah, that's not It's not new. But she's cute and you love the name, right? So lovey dovey. There we go. Look at that. Reminds me kind of a raspberry rush, except not quite, it's more of a purple instead of that like magenta that raspberry rush is. Um, again, petunias, fantastic. I think it did real well in the southern trial. Did very well in the southern trial, in case the mic didn't pick up what Jerry was saying. So, you know, us southerners, we, we've got to have plants that can handle the heat and the humidity. Um, our nights do not get cool. Like we stay hot and humid even at night. If you go up to the mountains of North Carolina, the humidity drops, the temperatures drop, plants get a break. Where we are and further south, that does not happen. I mean, I remember we went to bed, I vividly remember us going to bed one night in the summer and it was 11 o'clock and it was still like 85 degrees outside and just the humidity is like a blanket on you. So that's why for us, we have to have plants that can handle that heat and humidity that don't ever get a break. So lovey-dovey is a lovely, 
winner. Um, now, this I do know. I want to say, yes, this one's new. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it out. For all you fans of the Black Eyed Susan Vine fan club, they're all the appeals. So there's lemon appeal. There's, oh my gosh, tangerine appeal. <laughs> Here we have coconut appeal. Now, there's one food in this world that Jerry really does not like, and that's coconut. But I bet he'll like this plant. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that pure white bloom with that dark throat. Really, really gorgeous. Now, <laughs> can you see how vigorous this plant is? And notice here on the sides, look at that, how tall it's going to be. 60 to 96 inches tall. The great thing about these Black Eyed Susan vines is that they will grow on anything. They will climb anything. If you stand next to one and you're still long enough, it will start to climb you. So you can put this next to anything and it will climb. Also with Black Eyed Susan vines from Proven Winners, they are sterile. So years ago, Jerry and I had, um, or I had gotten a Black Eyed Susan vine and it put seeds out everywhere and literally for years i was pulling up little babies out of the ground these are sterile they will not do that so if you've had an experience like i have in the past and you're like i'm not planting that plant you don't have to worry you will not have thousands of babies coming up in your garden for years to come so this is just i mean the throat on that looks black like that's how dark it is such a beautiful plant we're almost done here A new verbena. So if you are familiar with um, meteor shower, this is going to be kind of reminiscent of that. So here we have cake pops pink. So it's going to be an upright verbena instead of a trailing verbena because it'll be 14 to 36 inches tall. Um, right now it's not so much to look at because as most verbenas are nice and hot, especially these upright verbenas, love it really hot, which is great because then they'll make it through the summer. Um, container landscape, planting to hard frost. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be more of an upright than a trailing spreader. So this is the pink, and I believe, because I was looking through the information, that there is another one as well. I may be wrong, but this is another verbena. So here we have Superbena Imperial Blue. So it's not blooming yet, but this is going to be the trailing verbena as opposed to an upright verbena. Beautiful purple blue color, um, only six to 12 inches tall, but the spread on it is going to be quite nice. Beautiful, nice, dark green foliage. Um, so once this blooms, it'll be really fun to watch. In fact, we have a little bud right there. So it shouldn't be too terribly long before we can actually see some color. That's the fun thing too about like when you get plants and they're not blooming or you're looking like forward to them. That's the fun thing about perennials and shrubs and plants like this is that you get the anticipation of what is to come is so much fun. That's like the joy of gardening, right? Especially in the winter time. Yes, I was right. Okay, there is. So we had Cake Pops Pink. Here is Cake Pops Purple. So there you go. Again, not blooming yet. Nice, pretty foliage on it. Um, that 10 to 18 inches tall. It's gonna be, like Meteor Shower has those great little small tight balls, for lack of a better word. So that's what I imagine the cake pops will be similar to that family. And of course, this is why we get the trial plants because I can grow them out this year and I can tell you this time next year, I know exactly what this plant's gonna do, I know exactly what it's gonna look like, and I can tell you then how to grow it in your garden. That's the beautiful thing about getting all these samples.
So we have, last but not least, a new salvia. I am a huge fan of the rockin' series of PW's salvias. Look at this. This is not a rockin'. This is an unplugged. But look at the beautiful pink color on that plant. So it reminds me very much of kind of the foliage of the rockin' series, but it's the unplugged. See how it has those nice, big, beautiful, dark green, big, fat leaves on it? So this is gonna be 14 to 30 inches tall. So it's gonna have a nice um, structure, nice substance in your garden. Um, obviously, it's gonna be upright. Containers or the landscapes, um, it's gonna be, if you're gonna space it about every foot apart to get a nice, big, you know, hedge of them if you wanted to. But just a beautiful, a nice pale pink. We love like the rock and fuchsia. It's that really intense electric pink. This looks like it's gonna be a nice softer pink. Um, I'm sure that the butterflies, hummingbirds, will flock to this just like they do the other salvias. But I'm gonna check and make sure that I didn't leave anybody out and that everybody has been, yep, so there we go. So everybody has been taken out. Um, so these are those new introductions that will come out next year. Of course, we will do updates throughout the season. And then at the end of the season, we will do a whole recap video just like we did last year. So if you missed that video from last year, check it out above and I will also link it in the video description below. So that way you can see exactly what I'm talking about when we're talking about the trial gardens and seeing how everything does. Um, because we got some really winners last year and then there were some that were, like I said, so-so. But the winners are true winners for here in the South. So I'm super excited to get my hands on these, get them growing as soon as the weather will cooperate and stop freezing at night, then we can really get to growing. Um, but I hope you have found this helpful. I hope this is giving you some excitement. Um, I know this season has like not even gotten started and we're already talking about next year, um, but it's always that anticipation of what is to come. Again, if you want some more information, you should be able to go to provenwinners.com, plug in those names and it'll give you lots of descriptions of, of all these plants that we have talked about so that you can learn about them mark them in your gardening journal of some interest so that way next year you can be sure to get your hands on them. As always, thanks so much for gardening with Creekside. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye friends.